Hey, what's up guys, Luke here, and today I'm bringing you guys a new series, um, so, uh, if you haven't figured it out already, my new series is going to be The Forest. Now, I've been playing a lot of The Forest lately, and to be honest, I've recorded several times an attempt to upload, um, if you were on enough today, or, uh, February 22nd, uh, you would uh, may or may not have seen my video gone up like at a very brief time, but uh, I took it down because uh, the quality was only at 360p quality, so it's obviously not very good. So I just uh, changed the render settings, um, and hopefully I can be getting some more solid frame right now. I think I actually know exactly where I landed. it. There should be the cockpit. Somewhere nearby. I'm not sure though. I kind of recognize the spawn. I kind of don't. Yeah. So. Basically. Uh, I'm having trouble deciding on what I should use for my renderer. Uh, like I'm editing with Sony Vegas. But. I was having several issues when it was coming to bitrate. Uh, bitrate has been my like number one issue uh, like what bitrate to upload in so um, it's just been a struggle to find the uh, bitrate that actually does work and will work for me so I'm going to still be experimenting but I think I've found the one which you are probably going to be viewing it in right now because I wouldn't upload it if it looked bad kill some lizards so they added a lot of new things in the forest, so for those of you who haven't been really keeping up, um, a major new thing is um, the lizard armor, or not lizard armor, uh, bone armor. Uh, and that can be crafted with six bones and three cloth. Um, and it, when you equipped it, it gives you 20% armor instead of uh, lizard skin, which uh, over here, it'll just go up by 10%. Bone armor will go up by 20% and it will be more durable. However, uh, it will be louder than your uh, lizard skin and stealth armor. Um, so, that is a con, but I mean, I don't really care because it's a really easy way to get bones. Or, it's an easy way to get armor, and if you don't know, you can just throw bodies on a fire and um, any body will drop six bones so as long as you can uh, pick it up and drop it on the fire. You should be foot fine. So, alright, let me just check, because I think we have another world, and it was exactly, like, over here, and the plane crash was, like, somewhere around here. If I'm right, there should be a pond down here, along with a big tree. Yeah, so I just actually spawned right next to one of the locations I have on another server. A lot of briefcase suitcases. I, I don't know why I always want to say briefcase. I saw some spears in the pocket. I'm not going to grab one just yet. I also did pick up some aloe vera earlier on, and aloe vera can be really helpful to get. I think I might have heard just panting. Maybe, I don't know. I'm only going to grab one. That's all you can hold as of now. 
I think I see another one over there too. Just need to wash off. Collect some sticks. That's a bush. <laughs> nice. So I'm trying to think on what type of base I should go for. I might do, um, I'm definitely going to start with the treehouse or some sort of small basic structure. But I want to make sure I choose my location on a flat ground because, um, the last base I built with my, uh, friends in another server was, uh, like on this slope over here. This is, the entrance was like right here and it was not very convenient. Found some blueberries. Don't want to eat those all yet. I always like to carry a lot of material, so I'm always maxed out. Um, they also added poison arrows, which can be made with four twin berries and um, four twin berries and a arrow, or you just add. Uh, grab as many arrows as you want and you combine them with four twin berries and you can make those all poison arrows uh, so they they've definitely been improving upon the game they also la added like da locks I don't know why I'm mixing up my words but they added locks on doors uh, a lot of bug glitches like the sleds used to not have their little flags or their waypoints or whatever and they should have had them, but they didn't. But now they do. So I'm going to go grab some rope from this village, because that's where it spawned last time. You guys may notice I had to get some lag spikes. It's just the forest, and it's a pretty laggy game overall. So I'm hoping to find an old pot in the center of that, but I didn't get to find one. Definitely want to get some circuit boards for some bombs later on. So far, no sign of the mutants. I read this guide on Steam uh, a while ago. I uh, said that you can actually tempt peace with the mutants, but I highly... I'm just doubting that. Because it just doesn't really seem. I don't know. They're just AI. It doesn't really seem like they can assimilate to what you're doing. So. It just doesn't seem likely that you can actually, like, have peace. But it, it does say. It was later. It was a earlier patch, too. Hold on. I'm going to make a bow. I just completely forgot what I was talking about. It was on an earlier patch, so if you like stayed within the ash of the plane, which there is no ash anymore, if, if I, I think at least, but a lot has changed throughout these patches. So now I do know of a lake somewhere down here that wouldn't be a bad spot to build. So if I can find it. That would be pretty sweet because there's also another village. And being in like this type of forest, there's a lot of trees and a lot of like sticks and sticks can be uh, kind of bitchy to find. Only because I choose like really non-ideal base locations for the most part. I'm not quite sure where the lake is. I think it's right over here. Nope. Hmm. Hopefully I don't get lost. I guess it doesn't really matter though. Got some lizard I can cook. Ooh, glitchy. 
Anyways, so this should be a uh, decent series to start uploading. Uh, I decided that I need to start uploading stuff other than tutorials because I do tutorials all the time. So I thought I'd change it up for once. I just can't find this pond. I know it's here, but I'm just probably not looking in the right place. Very out of. It looks like a cave. Oh, I think I know where I am. There should be a village nearby. Along with a uh, pond or lake or whatever. I just need to find that. Should be good. I haven't really been down to this part of the map, so I don't really know what I'm doing yet. Pretty sure it's the coast just over here. Yeah, but there's the yacht. I actually haven't been on this side of the yacht before. That's good, so that means the village should be in this direction, maybe. <laughs> yeah, alright, this is what I was looking for. So I'm going to build over, the, over there in that clearing seen several people build over there it's a perfect place to build it's nice and open and flat I'm gonna grab some more rope from this village and then I think I'm just gonna lay down the schematics of the base but once I do that I'll uh, I'll cut back to you and when I've done that but I won't start building until the next video Alright, so I think I've got it lined up nicely. Um, so I think I'm going to uh, maybe build some stairs on one of these sides. I'm thinking defensive walls maybe because... Or I could just build standard walls. I think it'd be easier if I use all custom building. So probably just custom built walls around here. And then just some stairs leading up and I think that'll be a, a perfect spot for the base so I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode